What's going on folks, it's your man Jay back with another video. So today we're gonna to take a look at the OnePlus 9 5G. Now a lot of people have jumped on the OnePlus 9 Pro, but at the beginning, like I said, hey, the 9, the, the 9 is obviously more affordable. I'm not saying this is the better purchase, but this is what I would recommend if you just want the cameras uh, and um, the phone itself. So this is a eight gig, 256 gig model. As you can see here, it's the black dot, black joint gonna crack it open nice presentation from OnePlus here's the phone you see they got the NFC letting you know the wireless charging it's the unlock model I think a lot of people got carrier models hey no no shade or anything but try to live unlocked anytime you can and this this black model looks really really good so let's marvel at the hardware for just a second you can see the Hasselblad. This it, it looks kind of bluish gray. It looks pretty dope, man. So you can see the um, the uh, Hasselblad camera setup right there. This has a 50 megapixel camera, folks. 50 megapixel ultra wide camera. That's crazy. Then you've got a uh, 48 megapixel main shooter f 1.8, and you got the two megapixel depth sensor. So Hasselblad color collaboration. This is going to be really nice. This is what this phone is all about. So this is what this video, this first impressions and unboxing might focus on. Then I'll put it up against the S21 Ultra because I know that's something that you guys want to see. Uh, and uh, I'll put it up against some other phones. As you can see real briefly, here's the Nord. You can see how big it is next to the Nord. It's a little bit smaller than the Nord. It's crazy. Um, but... This is uh this is some nice hardware. So Snapdragon 888, um, you've got 120 hertz uh, fluid AMOLED display, HDR10+, 1100 nits, 6.55 inches of uh, 1080p goodness at uh, Gorilla Glass 5, always on display. So again, eight gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage, uh, 4,500 4, milliamp hour battery. Remote, the, uh, the slider, is on this side here with the power button and then you've got the volume rocker here you got a microphone up there for cancellation of noise and you got a microphone down here sim tray speaker out and type c so we'll go ahead and fire this up this this looks way more beautiful than i thought it was going to look in person uh the phone itself is a good size and i mean it's really really nice it does come in another color it actually comes in a blue color for overseas depending on where you um where you're at it comes in a blue color and then this black and then it has like uh winter mist so it's called arctic sky and this is astral black and then winter mist so they come up with these naming conventions so i'm gonna put my sim card in here in just a second so popping it open here down inside of here it's not gonna be anything but just literature and you got the little sim tray right there and then that's that's it it should be some stickers in here too yeah, there, there are the stickers. I was wondering where the stickers were at. There are the stickers right there. So uh, we'll put this away. And um, unlike others, you know, OnePlus is doing right by their consumers by giving them this fat, fat, fat warp charge 65. This phone should charge to 100, I believe, in what, 30 minutes? 29 minutes, 1 to 100, as advertised. So we'll, we, we definitely, normally I don't use the power bricks that come for phones, but th this this is it. I, I got to use this. And then you get the uh, also famous red cable from OnePlus. So we're going to put this aside. I love the box. They're, I still have my other, obviously I have my other OnePlus. But um, this is nice right here. This is a nice touch from OnePlus. And again, co-developed by Hasselblad. So this is their selling point. So as far as software and all that stuff goes, yeah, you know, they made a big partnership with, with them. So we hope that they, they show improve on here. But Hasselblad on the box right here really says a lot about what they're trying to do. So I'm going to go ahead and um, get my information in here uh, and set this up. I'm going to sign in and then I'm going to go to the cameras. So I'll be back in just a minute. All right, guys. So wow factor in full effect. Um, first thing I want to talk about is the charging. I, I didn't put my SIM card in here yet and actually start using it yet. And I'm not going to do it after the video, but I don't want to get a bunch of phone calls and everything. So first thing is the charging. I let it sit in the charged from 50 to 100 
in about 15 minutes or so. So it was at 50% when I, if you notice when I took it out of the box. So it got to 100 fairly fast, like in 15 minutes. So the charging is the real deal. Next, I've been playing with the phone and I took a bunch of photos, uh, not a bunch. I took some photos and videos. I'm going to show that to you here in just a second. But wow, this phone is a OnePlus device, man. So I have to go on record already and say, more than likely, this is probably going to be your best OnePlus experience. I mean, I have gotten all the OnePluses up to this point, I believe. Uh, and this is my best OnePlus experience. It's nice and fluid. The screen, 120 hertz. It's uh, just nice. This is OnePlus. So we can go to the settings, go into display. You go to advanced. You can see the refresh rate, 120. Now, you could probably change that to save battery more than likely, but I'm leaving it on 120. Uh, also, you know, it's, so the screen is on vivid. You can do natural. You can do advanced and adjust it yourself. Uh, but... You know, I suggest you just leave it on vivid if you if you just want to flow with it. Uh, settings are all like, uh, you know, you would expect, um, you know, there's just way too many uh, customizations that you can do uh, on a OnePlus device. And this is what they are known for. They're known for allowing you to customize the device. And I think that's that's the way it should be. You know, if you're going to if you're going to get a OnePlus device and you don't want to do. Uh, a bunch of different things out of the out of the box or you know purchase things or whatever you could definitely do it with one plus so um your clock displays you can change all of these right here currently it's on this kind you can change it to these this is pretty dope right here uh just switching it to different um uh settings on the on the lock screen is really really nice really like that um i'll save that one i like that one uh and then you can do your different fingerprint uh things here you've got these few in here uh let's just go with this one right here we'll save it and you got your colors on the outside here you can change it to all these different ones for when you get notifications and things like that you know what i'm saying so that's pretty good so we'll just leave it at at blue um then you got your accent color right now it came default to this this one plus one this red and white right here so i think that's pretty nice but you can change it to whatever you want so i'm gonna go ahead and just we'll see what Nah, I'll leave it on this one plus one. I think that's pretty dope. Uh, so you got your uh, system icons. They are automatically default set to round, but you can obviously change them. And you also can put on your favorite icon pack. We know that about, about one plus. You can change to your uh, icon pack that you want. Uh, and that's just what it is. So the rest of this is basic one plus stuff. Let's get to the cameras because I know it's what you want to see and I want to show them to you. So camera game right here. Let's get it. has the ability to do portrait video so this is a sample on a windy day i gotta get it for you though out here portrait video all right so uh here's this uh regular front facing video from the uh one plus nine i think this uh footage is impressive let's do something with the rear all right so here is rear camera footage uh, from the um, from the OnePlus 9, this camera is really impressive. Um, uh, just regular, no portrait video. It's it's impressive, and uh, I'm I'm not gonna. I have a lot of phones. Um, uh, this is an impressive set of cameras on here.
right now so if you don't know the oneplus 9 can do portrait video and this is exactly what i'm doing right now decided to come indoors and do another portrait video outside it was kind of bright and you couldn't really see the portrait effect probably because of the back door but um what you think about this portrait video from the oneplus 9. all right so what did you think about these cameras i can tell you right now portrait video looks sick to me i really now we all we got to give credit where credit is due lg was the first one to do portrait video i don't i haven't watched anybody else well i watched a few people so i watched eric and a few other people that, that i talked to in the circle that have the one plus my project 13 um other people in the circle but i haven't seen too many people really focus on the portrait video so i will be using this phone for portrait video a lot more coming up but i think one plus did the right thing i can see why they're bragging about the Hasselblad um partnership because these cameras are great. I haven't done 8K video or anything like that yet, uh, but these cameras are great. So I did set up the fingerprint reader. As you can see, it's blazing fast. Facial recognition is so fast that you don't think that it's actually working. But if you see here, I'm not looking at the phone. There's a little face up there. As soon as I put it on there, boom, face unlocks. So I'll get into detail more. Um, I like the alert slider right here. I like that. So I'll get into detail a little bit more uh, later on, but this is my first impressions unboxing. Folks, I got to tell you, um, either one of them, I have the nine. I told you, you know, the nine pro, the nine, I have the nine. Uh, this phone is fantastic so far. It's stupid. And, and this is going to be my best experience with OnePlus more than likely. Here it is next to the Nord. Just, just, this is so, it's so nice. It's just sick. It's sick. Let's test the speakers before we get out of here. See how these speakers sound. Yeah, yeah, these sound as good as I thought they would sound. So um, this phone right here so far, obviously I'm totally impressed. Uh, if I have some dislikes, I'll, I'll show you those dislike, dislikes later on down the line as far as reviewing the phone or whatever. So um, yeah, just stay tuned for more content. I appreciate you coming in for this one. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Leave a drop, drop a comment down below if you have the Pro or the 9 and which color you got. Now, by default, oh, there was a system update right out of the box. So I went on ahead and did that. Uh, and this has a screen protector. If you got the unlock version, you probably have a screen protector on already. And this is a flat screen. So that's pretty dope. I'll be getting some cases in or whatever for this. So we'll see. Um, <laughs> we'll see. It's your man, Jay. Hope you enjoy first impressions of the OnePlus 9 5G. The partnership with Hasselblad, I got to admit... It's the truth so far for me. It's impressive. See you in the next one. Take care.